You asked for it and here it is. I was thrilled by the positive feedback on my video about the Speedy B Mario 8 long range build. I want to thank you for your interest and comments. With this positive spirit, I took the Mario on its first long range flight. Okay, let's be fair and call it a mid range flight. For my first longer distance flight, I wanted to play it safe and not push the limits right away. Before this flight, I had the initial test flight that you saw in the build video, as well as two more flights at my home spot to test larger batteries with the Mario. For the first distance flight, I decided to use the 3300 milliamp hours LiPo. I made this decision because I'm more familiar with the voltage behavior of LiPo batteries than lithium ion ones. However, I'm now a big fan of lithium ion batteries and will test the 4000 milliamp hours battery soon. I also want to maximize the potential of the Mario by flying it with two 4000 milliamp hours batteries in parallel, which would give it an 8000 milliamp hours capacity. As you may know, I have already tested this with the Bob 57. However, the drone is too small for great long range flights with the weight of two batteries. Hopefully, the Mario will handle this much better. The drone performs well in the air. There are some winds from the north today, coming from the right side here. However, the Mario is stable and handles the winds well. You may notice the shaky video from the goggles. It's not as intense as on the Recon Y6, but I think it's an issue I need to handle with the Mario as well. I'm not sure if it's due to the mounting, which was designed for the O3, or if there are vibrations on the frame. Could also be an overcorrecting PID tune. We'll see in the future. On the way back, I definitely want to fly over the small river with its waterfalls you can see here. First, I will aim for the right ridge, which I can definitely reach. If I have enough capacity left, I will go up to the peak on the left. As I approached my target, the rear ridge, and because I had enough capacity left, I went up to the peak on the left. The additional climb to the peak was less than it seemed from my starting point. As I started the dive down into the beautiful mountain landscape, I crossed my fingers that the shaking wouldn't increase due to the higher speed and upwinds in this section. The shaking is okay, and the drone is easy to control. 
In the last video, someone commented that the 1050 kV motors can be too weak when diving, especially when exiting a dive. Keeping this in mind, I focused on the distance to the ground and made quick throttle corrections. The Mario does feel slightly weaker than the Bob 57 and other drones. However, it is very controllable as long as you're aware of it and don't hold back on the throttle. The dive is finished, and according to the OSD, about 1,700 milliamp hours was used. The ammeter is not yet fully configured, but it's very close. There is definitely enough capacity left to easily make it home. My plan to play it safe worked perfectly, and I wasn't worried about the battery at any point during the flight. The GPS data is working well, too. I had no trouble finding my home point or the correct height thanks to the data in the OSD. This is also a topic I had problems with other drones. After landing, I recharged the 3,300 milliamp hours battery at home and compared the OSD value with the actual capacity used. The OSD said I used 2,162 milliamp hours. 2,022 milliamp hours got recharged. Therefore, the Mario could have flown for about two more minutes with this battery. I'm curious to see how the drone will behave with the lithium-ion battery or the dual lithium-ion setup with 8,000 milliamp hours. Hopefully, I will be able to test this soon. So stay tuned. Cheers.